In this short video, you will learn mental toughness tips that I shared with a group of wrestlers right before they went out to compete in their tournament. And they won as a team by one point. What is performance anxiety? Well, the cut to the chase, it's this. Fear. This is the number one problem in all sports, mental problem. Fear of embarrassing yourself, fear of disappointing your parents, fear of disappointing your coaches, your teammates. Fear, right? Fear of not doing so well. All right, so here's how I help people get over fear. First of all, we're going to break it down. We do fear for two reasons, for physical danger, and we do it because we're afraid of our emotions. What? Now, this is some, something that um, you don't hear too often. But when I said, what are we really afraid of about losing, about uh, underperforming in a match? We're afraid of embarrassment. We're afraid of disappointments. Uh, what else? What else are we afraid of that might happen? Some people are afraid of getting angry. Some people are afraid of the sadness that might come from it. But I always ask my athletes, I say, so if you lose, what's going to happen? Are you going to get uh, uh, shot? Is somebody going to shoot you if you lose this game? No. No, fear, no physical danger there. Is somebody going to take your house away and your, and your food and your clothing and shelter? No. Is there anything physical that's going to happen? No. So what is it that we're afraid of? Well, all emotions, including fear, they're just chemicals running through your body. Let me give you the, the breakdown of what happens. So you get a thought. You're before a match. You're going against a guy who crushed you the last time you win. Or, or you know he's a, the best around and, and has an undefeated record, right? And you're going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I hope I can do this. And you're starting to get tense. You're starting to get nervous. You're starting to get anxious. Right? What's going on? That, those are the thoughts that you have. Oh, oh, I'm going against this guy who's owned so many guys before me or has destroyed our team before, whatever. So this chemicals just get released in your body. And then they attach to cells, fibers, tissues, even muscles, even bones. And they make your body feel something. All right? So there's an emotion here, and then there's a feeling. So it's the feeling that hurts your performance, right? Going out there on fire, feeling like you're going to kill this guy, or scared to death. It, it, it's, it's not even close, right? So that's our whole goal, is to get into that state. So all we have to know is, if we feel that, if we think that, if we're experiencing that fear, all you have to do is tell yourself, huh, look at that. Got some chemicals doing some things in my body. There's nothing outside. We, we as athletes, we as human beings, tend to blow this fear thing up into, oh my God, my whole life is, could come apart here. Oh my gosh, well, if I lose this, I'm the go to the team. And we go all over the place. All it is is some chemicals in your body. Literally, they're just chemicals. That's all that's going on. There's no outside force punishing you feeling and fear. By the way, this goes for all your chemicals. Anger, sadness, guilt, hurt, all those. Shame, embarrassment, rejection. They're just chemicals. Let me give you a quick story. Uh, and you guys might experience this. Uh, a few years ago, I was in the dating world and, and I asked this woman out for a date. And uh, we had a good time. Went to the movie and afterwards I drop her off, say, uh, say goodnight, write her an email saying, hey, I enjoyed your presence. It was fun. Uh, whatever, and I'd like to get to know you better. Next morning, I wake up and there's an email saying, you know, uh, I enjoyed the time too, thank you very much, um, and I don't, not interested in you romantically, want to be your friend or whatever. Now, at first, I'm feeling rejection, right? So this pertains to wrestling, because you guys are all, in some way, have experienced fear of rejection of what might come from losing the fear. I'm just going to use this outside, because you can use this kind of, these techniques, these tactics, everywhere in your life to fight the fear and the performing anxiety that hold you back in wrestling, right? So what do I do? I sit there, and I, I, you know, I actually felt like this hole in my gut. I don't know if you guys have ever been dumped by a girl or whatnot, or anybody for that matter. It doesn't feel very good. So the, 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 the tendency, the, the temptation is to go, I suck. 
must be something wrong with me, right? That I must not be good enough. Oh, all this other BS that comes up. No, this is what I do. Oh, look at that. There's some chemicals uh, making my stomach feel that way. That's kind of interesting. I'm just going to be in it for a while. They're just chemicals. Because what's the truth of the situation? The truth of the situation with some, some girl who, who said, I'm not interested in you, is we're not a match. And in any relationship, somebody can say, we're not a match. Either side can say, we're not a match. That's the truth. It doesn't mean I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough as a wrestler. It doesn't mean I, I, I'm not good looking enough. It doesn't mean I'm not smart enough. None of that. Or have enough techniques or tools there out on the map. You see the, the, the metaphor there? It's just chemicals. That's what I want you guys to tell yourself. Make sure to go to teenmentaltoughness.com to get a free Master the Pressure guided visualization and an ebook for parents The Ten Commandments for Great Sports Parents. Click on the link in the description below and I'll see you in the winner's circle. Hi, this is Rosemary Lickman from Real Health. It's a couple days before my 70th birthday, so today is my big day. I'm really excited to see if my training paid off and if I can really do these 70 laps for my 70th birthday. So um, I'm going to get started now and I won't make you watch the whole thing, but hopefully um, you'll get to see the end. I'm so happy I set that up for myself and that I really did it. I've been thinking back about how I actually was able to accomplish this goal. Remember I set this goal for myself six months ago and that was the first thing that really uh, helped me accomplish it was saying it out loud and really setting it up as a goal for myself. Here's what I said then. I am setting the goal for myself to be able to swim 70 laps the week of my birthday. And the second thing that really helped me accomplish this goal, I think, was that I set up a training program for myself and I rigorously stayed with it. I stuck with it even though it was hard. Um, here's a, a video that I made at one of my training sessions. Just finished one of my uh, training laps, one of my training swims, and they've been pretty rigorous. I've been able to keep up with them in a couple of different ways. One is knowing that I have this jacuzzi to sit in afterwards to help reflect and re relax a little bit. Another one is that I know how important this is for me, so even when it's very cold, uh, I do get myself to come out and do my swim. The main one that really seems to help me is that I play a kind of game with myself in the water. As I'm swimming laps back and forth, I remembered uh, a game I used to play as a little girl, A, my name is Alice, as we bounced a ball. And so what I do is each lap I'll think of a different letter of the alphabet and think about uh, different fun things that relate to that letter. Today I was able to swim 52 laps because uh, I went through the alphabet twice. And the third thing that really helped me, and this was probably the most important, was that I relied on my family and friends to give me support through this process. When I would be swimming laps, uh, lots of times I would get a chance to think about one family member each lap I swam and the different things I had had a chance to do with them and how they were so important to my life. And that really made it a lot easier to accomplish the different laps that I had. And I had so much fun doing the laps that instead of just doing the 70, I decided to do an extra 10 to grow on. So I'm all set for the next couple of years of swimming laps for my birthday. So let me know what seems to help for you when you're trying to accomplish a goal and see if making a commitment and setting up a training program and relying on friends and family are three tools that maybe help you. And if you have some other ones, I'd love to hear about them. Take care for now. Bye-bye.
घर के मैं टोटली काम कर सकता हूँ पैरों से सिलाई करना है पैरों से सुई में धागा डालना है पैरों से कपड़े को काटना है कैंची से उसके बाद जैसे कंगी करना है या सेब बनानी है सभी काम कर सकता हूँ हाथ तो देखो जी बचपन से नहीं है परमात्मा ने भी नहीं दिए फिर भी उसके बावजूद भी मैं कुछ ना कुछ वैसे सिलाई का कार्य करता हूँ अपने पाँव से तो आप पढ़े लिखे कहाँ तक हैं मैं जी पाँचवीं पास करी ताई जी आपका लड़का मदन लाल जन्म से ही अपंग है तो उससे आपको किसी तरह की परेशानी उठानी पड़ती है अपने आप कर लेता सारा का आप कर ले सारा रोटी पानी आप खाए सा पानी पी लिए नहाओ तो ही कर लिए सारो दिन बाद में आगे मैंने दुकान में दुकान करी शुरू शुरू में मेरा वैसे संख्या सी कम है तो मैं दुकान बंद करके सिलाई करा करता हूँ दिन बाद में आस्ता 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 काम में पता लगे वो काम करे तो सब का तसली हो गई तो मैंने अठारह बीस उन्नीस साल काम करे अभी भी काम में आज दुकान है जिम्मेदारी कर रखी देखिए आपके दोनों हाथ ना होते हुए भी आप सभी काम कर लेते हैं लेकिन दुनिया में ऐसे लोग भी हैं जो सब कुछ होते हुए कुछ नहीं करते तो आप लोगों को क्या प्रेरणा देना चाहेंगे लोगों को क्या कहता हूँ देखो जो परमात्मा ने जैसे भेज दिया कुछ ना कुछ इस जन्म में भी कमा के खाओ अपनी मेहनत लगन से करके खा के देखो गाड़ी की तमन्ना दे रही गाड़ी एक दिन चला के मैं रोड के ऊपर सभी लोगों ने दिखाऊँ ये सबसे बड़ी तमन्ना है मेरी कुछ लोग जन्म जात ही विकलांग होते हैं और कुछ किसी हादसे का शिकार होकर विकलांग बन जाते हैं फतेहबाद जिले के गांव बनगांव में जहां के निवासी मदन लाल जन्म से ही दोनों हाथों से वंचित हैं लेकिन उन्होंने इस विकलांगता को अभिशाप नहीं माना बल्कि एक चुनौती के रूप में लिया और आज वह अपना जीवन बिल्कुल सही ढंग से जी रहा है एक चुनौतीपूर्ण जीवन जी रहा है मैं सरकार व गैर सरकारी लोगों से अपील करूँगा जितने भी गैर सरकारी संगठन हैं कि मदन लाल की दिली इच्छा को पूर्ण करने में उसका सहयोग दें मैं सत्यवान वर्मा बड़गांव फतेहबाद से इंडिया अनहर्ड के लिए लैसेटर लट सांतोस एंड क्रेमर नहीं यू वांट टू स्टार्ट द यूनिट यू आर विन अच्छा कैसे एलेक्स ओह तुम आमा बेम बाबा नहीं तो नहीं मार्शल लैसेटर Hindi na siya nakatugot sa pagbagsak niya dito. Pero again, they're still looking at that same spot. You see, tumama di yung paha. Uh, Marshall kay Mark Pingris. And even si Ping ngayon, tinuturo pa ito sa map. زندان اوین به پارک تبدیل میشه شهردار تهران از توافقات اولیه برای انتقال زندان اوین به خارج از تهران خبر داد و گفته این مکان با تغییر کاربری به فضای سبز تبدیل میشه آقای غاری باف با اشاره به برنامه های شهرداری برای توسعه کیفی و کمی فضاهای سبز گفته تملک دره اوین درکه و باخای کن و تبدیل اونا به فضای سبز از جمله این برنامه است